Uh, about a year after threatening to cut thousands of jobs, uh, today United Airlines is preparing to make some key hires. Hire as demand for air travel picks up, and Phil LeBeau joins us now with that uh, breaking news. Hey, Phil. Hey, Joe. United announcing that it will be opening a new pilot training academy in the Phoenix area this year. And as you take a look at shares of United, keep in mind that they planned on doing this back at the beginning of 2020. Obviously, what's happened in the last year have then uh, changed their plans, but now they're planning on opening up what they call the AVA Pilot Training Academy, and they're making a specific goal with this academy. They plan to train 5,000 new pilots, so bring 5,000 pilots in, work them through the academy, graduate them, have them flying for United by 2030. Their goal is that 50% of the new pilots will be either women or people of color. Currently, Less than 20% of United's pilots are women or people of color. This all comes at a time when the uh, airlines, not just United, but all of them, are facing a pilot shortage that's going to be uh, more acute over the next decade as you see more pilots retiring, hitting mandatory retirement age. So the airlines are aggressively saying, what do we need to do to make sure that we have enough pilots uh, to fly our planes as we expand our schedules over the next decade. And, of course, they're going to be expanding their schedules this summer. You saw the news from uh, Southwest Airlines earlier this morning saying that it plans to bring back uh, a little over 200 pilots who had taken uh, a leave of absence as they expand their schedule this summer. So United Airlines doing what I think we might see more airlines do, and that's take a more aggressive stance when it comes to recruiting and hiring and training future pilots. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.